Hey guys, I'm Amarat and in the last video we have been talking about creating display IDs uh, and we have missed one thing or rather uh, I have said that we are in the last video we were creating uh, creatures without equipment and now we will get to equipment actually. So what is equipment? Uh, it is this fourth uh, ID uh, which is set to 40,000 which is conveniently enough in my case the same as display ID. And this is ID in creature display in for extra DBC. So if you want to create humanoid creature with equipment, just create ordinary display ID uh, with model of that uh, mo with model of that uh, humanoid model character model. Uh, that's 49 for human male, for example. And this is just some sound ID. I haven't set any blood and so on. So this is just default setting, or rather for my creature or for my creatures with equipment. Now when you go to creature display info extra dbc it contains some IDs here. These IDs are IDs of looks of NPC. So this is race, gender and these are IDs from basically from skin, face, hair, hairstyle and hair feature. Uh, so these are just IDs written from, from here uh, copied here. And these are display IDs of actual items which NPC is carrying. Uh, now this is uh, quite a curious one. Uh, this 20th uh, field, if set to 1, it enables you to carry equipment over equipment of that creature if you have, if you are morphed into that creature. So if you are in game, you type dot morph and uh, this display ID. Uh, you will get display ID of that uh, creature. You will look like, for example, that human, uh, but you will have equipment of that human on, on yourself and over it your actual equipment. Okay, so that's this flag what it is for. It is rarely used, but it is here. And this is uh, name of texture. Now bear with me, uh, name of texture should always be something never leave name of texture like this empty it must not be empty because when it is empty it will cause game client to crash now uh, how to create this uh, extra display info information well it would be normal a little bit tedious you would have to build your npc in model viewer so select what it it looks and you know so on what it will look like and then uh, you would get to selecting items. So some item, I've got converted models from uh, from new uh, expansions. So uh, head items are floating like this. Just ignore it for uh, for a while. But anyway, you would just select items like this. Just equip your NPC. with something, whatever you want. Uh, ignore right hand, left hand and quiver. Those are ignored or rather you would have to equip them in different way. Maybe quiver can be used, I'm not 100% sure. But these items are to be equipped uh, by uh, by using database, not by using display ID. And tabard, yeah, we can use some tabard. So this is our, cre our creature, our NPC you want to create. And now you would normally have to copy all these IDs from here and write them into this DBC by hand. That's a lot of work to do, it's tedious process. So I have a written tool for this. So what I usually do is I just create my NPC in model viewer. I then go to file, export model and X3D. What this will do for you is that it will export that model into X3D format. We don't need that model actually. We don't need these things, but what we do need is this main texture because uh, creatures with equipment use baked textures. They have texture with skin and hair and all items on them. Uh, we need those items to be there. Okay, so we need this texture. Now just give it some name, creature, for example, 0, 2, because I've got 0, 1 already. Uh, I don't want to 
change extension, damn it. Okay. So creature deal and this is texture of that creature. Now you would have to write all those IDs into DBC by your hand, but uh, my tool will work with this character file. So go to character and save file. You can see shortcut F7. Save this character as character file and you can see that this character file is just text file with all those IDs written in it. So that's what my tool will use. Uh, now texture is to be BLP and you would just do this with all your creatures. Just continue doing creatures. You can make hundreds of creatures, hundreds of NPCs like this. Uh, get all their character files and their baked textures and when you are done with this you can close model viewer you don't need dbc's at all and then just take your dbc's probably like this take your dbc's copy them into npc generator you can find this generator in my tool pack in tools there's amart tools there is npc generator and for now, the generator isn't working for DBCs, so you need to convert your DBCs into CSVs. I will update the generator so it can work with DBCs directly later, some soon-ish, I would say. So we need CSVs of uh, those two DBCs, creature display info and creature display info extra. Run NPC generator. Uh, it would write error if it fails to open CSV, so it is okay that no error is present. Uh, fill your database uh, credentials. So in my case, I want to log in into my local database and use... For my personal database, I use just default root. Word database. Actually, name of my word database is Medieval Word. I have non-default name, so medieval word. Creature template, you will probably never want to change these two fields. And port, I've got non-default port for my SQL, so I will use uh, this port. NPC name, uh, I will just leave it as it is. And uh, start NPC, uh, gallery ID, leave it as it is. At least as long as your display ID has five digits, okay? You will see why a little bit later. We can just test connection. And I usually use replace instead of insert because in case there is already a creature uh, in creature template and uh, which would uh, collide with our creature which is going to be generated, I want to get it replaced because that creature wouldn't have any place here. So that's really what I usually use, use replace insert instead of insert. Uh, so filling up our uh, DB uh, credentials, now we can go to character file. And this may look like it is actually uh, producing more work for us, but it is really speeding up a lot of things. Display ID and extra ID, those are selected uh, automatically when we take a look into our DBC. So you can see that 40,000 is the last ID I got used. So it has correctly picked up the uh, last uh, empty IDs it can use. Scale 1, we don't want to change scale, really, just one scale. Opacity 255, we don't want to create ghost, yet again default value. Generate, uh, generate a random sound ID. These are sounds of creatures, what they say when you click on them. Greetings and hello and browse my virus, you know, those things which creatures or NPCs say when you left click on them and they are friendly towards you. Yet again, I leave uh, this to tool because tool will generate random ID based on my model. So I'm using human mail, it will use some random human mail sound ID. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, in case you want to pick something on your own, you, you know what sound ID you want to use, you can uncheck this and fill it up. Texture name, select so texture, and it's this texture. By the way, I should change this. Okay, there is filter for this, but I will change it for, for proper director. Alternative ID, uh, zero. Uh, nearly always, <laughs> because alternative ID is what is here in creature model info. Where is it? 
picture model info here you can see that there are display IDs for other genders so it would use in this display ID would in 50% chance there is 50% chance that uh, alternative ID is used and we don't want that in at least I don't want that in my case I want just one display ID I don't want to have to any alternative ID to it so that's right so now I can just click on generate all was successfully done and now you will just select another character file select another texture and click on generate yet again and you will just continue doing so you can see that IDs were updated and scale opacity sound alternative ID all of these you would usually leave as default you would just always at the, at the start, at the, at, at the beginning, you would fill up those credentials here and then just select character file, select texture, generate, select another character file, select another texture, generate, and just keep going and going. And it is doing all work for you. Now, what is it exactly doing? Well, when you convert our CSVs back to DBCs, Just to show it, this to you in editor, you can scroll down and you can see that there is new display ID here. It has a real human model, 49 is human male model. It has extended display ID for 2001, yet again correct. Scale 1, opacity 255. It has a generated sound 50 for us. And that's right. it. And in extra display ID, uh, I have closed model viewer already, but uh, these are array IDs we have selected in model viewer. Array, it's human, race is one, it's male, gender is one. These are IDs of uh, geosets and of looks, and these are display IDs of items we have picked. And here's our texture. So it has done all work for us, but there is even more. And we go to database, go to creature model info. Uh, we can see, or you can see that our display ID has been even generated here as well. Uh, you might want to ch uh, change bounding radius and combat reach, but these are just fine for humanoids. So this is generated for us as well. And we go to creature template. There is actually already template test creature generated here as well by two which is using our display ID we have set or we have created, not selected, created. And you can see that it's quite convenient that its entry is actually containing the display ID. So just from taking a look at entry, you can see what display ID is there or just by knowing display ID, you know what entry does its template creature have. So this is really neat in my opinion. So this is our default creature with the default settings in the rest of uh, fields. This is just a test creature. You would want to create copy of it for your real NPC, but you can use this for testing. So it is already done all work for us. Now we can place our DBCs into server. Uh, we can update our client site as well. So data client, I will just prove to you that it works. Update our DBCs. Uh, in textures, bake it and PC textures, you need to place your BLP textures always here into this directory. All your bake it and PC textures belong here, nowhere else, never ever else, elsewhere. Okay, so this is done. Uh, my MPQ is uh, updated, my DBCs on Trinity Core are updated. I can just run Warcraft and connect to my server. And it actually starts up. Done. NPC add two and forty thousand one. And here is our 
and PC we have created in model viewer so it works As you can see there is other one which I have created uh, or used for my test purposes so they are work they are here they have all equipment they've got uh, looks we have chosen and so on so this is a very quick convenient way of creating uh, NPCs with equipment now if you want your NPCs to have weapons that's uh, something you need to do in database and I will cover it cover it up in another video so that's uh, for now everything I wanted to show you guys thanks for watching you can get my tool in my uh, tool pack and uh, use it as you wish so guys I wish you just happy morning now.